Hello and welcome back to another festival review. Lollapalooza is one of the longest running music festivals in the world, happening every summer at the Grand Park in Chicago, and it is also one of the highest revenue generating music festival franchises in the world, with chapters ranging from Berlin, Stockholm, to Brazil, and most recently India. It originally started off as a 22 event long tour across the country in 1991. In 2014, Live Nation bought a controlling stake in C3 Presents, which allowed the festival to grow at an unparalleled capacity by leveraging partnerships in other countries. Fun fact about the origin of its name, Lollapalooza actually means an extraordinary or unusual thing, person or event, an exceptional example or instance. And it also doubles as a reference to a lollipop. In fact, the original logo of the festival actually had a lollipop in it. For ticket costs, I bought two separate GA day passes for Friday and Saturday this year, so it totaled to around $250 for just the ticket itself. On top of that, $67 in processing fees and Chicago amusement tax fees, which I have explained in another video that I will link in the description down below. So this totals to $317 across two GA single day pass tickets. Additional expenses included a flight of $300 from New York to Chicago and back, as well as $176 for hotel accommodation within a 15-minute walking distance from Grant Park for two nights. Pro tip, there were five of us sharing a hotel room, so it was definitely one of those things where it would have been a lot more expensive had it been for just two people, for instance. Food on the festival grounds, which was fairly reasonably priced for an entree, it was around $10 to $16 for a sizable amount of food, and $4 for a liquid death. And for the electronic acts that we actually got to check out at this festival included Big Wild, Odessa, Fred Again, Medusa, as well as Nora on Pure. And unlike Tomorrowland, what I found interesting was that the stages weren't as decked out as I had thought they would be. However, they did spend a lot of time and energy on sourcing brands that could sponsor the stages. And that's kind of an interesting observation between European and American music festivals in general, which actually leads me to believe that the American festivals are more commercialized than you'd think. And on top of that, there were actually some experiential brand booths where you can line up and get some free Dunkin Donuts or line up and sign up for Liquid Death to get a free Liquid Death water. And just none of this was present at Tomorrowland. And it was a stark contrast going in between two weekends of Tomorrowland, which was considered, you know, one of the biggest festivals in Europe. And then going to Lollapalooza, which is one of the biggest franchises that came out of the US. So that is definitely something I have learned. And as far as musical acts go, obviously Tomorrowland is catered to the electronic music lover, while Lollapalooza is catered to the mass audience with varied genres. And I was honestly quite impressed at how many electronic acts were featured on the lineup of 2023. <laughs> And comparing to other festivals in the US, I definitely say that the pricing was fairly similar to GovBall, but there was a higher production value for sure. Also, like this backdrop of Chicago is simply unparalleled. And we even got to see this double rainbow during sunset, which was incredible. Even though it was raining half the time, all of that made it worth it. And just to note truthfully that I have a more biased review since I was coming off of a Tomorrowland high and nonetheless I would say that this is a festival I would recommend you going if it's not logistically out of the way for you to travel to and you have a good group of friends to go with and objectively it was a decently run festival so I would recommend it but again because I came from a Tomorrowland festival back-to-back -back experience 
I wasn't wowed per se, but I definitely think it was still a fantastically run festival. So good job, Lollapalooza. And that's it. I hope you found this useful and let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Lollapalooza or what you thought about other festivals comparatively speaking to Lala. I would love to know. And until then, see you in the next festival review. Bye!